Well, this is one of those stories where there is good news and tough news to report here. First, let's start with the good news. Since the 70s, the vehicles we drive around in use nearly half the gas that they used to. Since the 90s, 2 billion people around the world have access to clean water who didn't before. And in just one year between 2010 and 2011, world investment in green energy went up by 17%. Now to the not so great news from the World Economic Forum. Fossil fuels are still way more popular than renewable fuels. Greenhouse gases in the atmosphere are rising worldwide. And the forum says we could expect higher food prices in the near future at the grocery store. Now there is a plan to fix the world's problems, but it will be expensive. It will cost almost $1 trillion per year. In addition to the $96 billion the world is already spending right now. Here's how that $0.7 trillion breaks down. We will split the billions between changing the ways business works, uh, the way we use our forests, the way we use energy, and the way we use the vehicles on the road. Now, the World Economic Forum wants countries and companies to split the bill to make this a reality. When I asked the spokesman how certain they are that this plan will work out, they say nothing's a sure bet, but if countries around the world and companies as well do little or nothing, well, the future does not look so bright for 2050's 9 billion people. I'm Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel.